there over 40 years, and I love them having the chickens. It does not bother me. Our yards are together, and I think it's great. Thank you. Yes. I live at, Bill French is my name. I live at 1090 Sherry Lane. And I'm on the back side of Rick's property. And uh, it's, uh, these chickens haven't been a bother whatsoever. Uh, in fact, I, I go over there all the time with my dog. I walk my dog through the backyard and go over there to see the chicken. And uh, if there's something that needs to be considered tonight, years ago, somebody complained about what I was doing on my personal property. And that, pers that person did not come forward, did not show their face, didn't confront me, you know, face to face like a man would do. And here we are, we got somebody turned in this complaint. We don't have no reason, you, no, you know, we don't know why. They just, you know, they got some kind of bandana or some kind of score. That, and now it's, you know, the Bible says, no man liveth, no man dieth to himself. It's caused all these people to come out over eight chickens, a truckload, <laughs> you know. And uh, I honestly believe that something needs to be changed about if somebody is going to make an official complaint, they need to be at this meeting. You know. I mean, honestly, this... this and, and I told those people when they made that complaint to me, they kept serving me a notice. And I said, well, what's going to happen after the next notice? They said, that person will have to appear in court. I said, good. Bring me the next notice because that's what it's going to take. Well, guess what? The complaint went away. So it really wasn't, you know, it wasn't as serious as they thought it was. And I don't think this is serious one bit. I think this is an absolute waste of time. I was told when I moved to Carlisle that I couldn't build a front porch on my house. So what they're telling me is I can't improve on my property. It looked like an absolute wreck when I moved there. And they all, every one of my neighbors said, God, what a beautiful place you made out of that. Amen. Well, if I can't put a porch on, maybe it's like the one guy said, maybe I ought to pack up and move somewhere else too. Thank you. We, uh, unfortunately, this group, uh, we don't write them all. Our job is to try to interpret them. I'm always cautious when it comes time to grant variance from people. Uh, three weeks of study. Has anybody on the board know, gone to the neighborhood and looked around? Do they know where he lives? Yes. Exactly. yes. Okay. Have they checked with any of the neighbors? I, I never go on people's property, and I never check with neighbors prior to this meeting. But I do drive by. I want to have a mental image of what we're talking about. I know other board members do the same thing. Yes. Has anybody ever checked with the neighbors on fact-finding missions? Identify yourselves. Let everybody know who you are. Find out if there's really a problem. The problem. There is a problem. To know that there is a problem. There is a problem. It doesn't go with the code. It's not our job to change it. That's the whole thing. But the whole thing is it's just a 
on this individual. It's not a, a, a carte blanche over the whole thing. It's just for this one individual. And nobody seems to realize that. Isn't that what you said? Well, any, any change, any variance we grant, we feel that we grant, okay, does impact the entire community. It is that simple. Because we can grant a variance <coughs> that just totally destroys a section of our codes and ordinances. Before considering that option, uh, I like the idea of us spending some time thinking this thing through and, and trying to gather more knowledge. Uh, and, and that's what we will do. Okay, if there's no other business to come before the board, uh, let's reaffirm Flo has set a tentative date of April, Nine. April 9th, which is a Monday, 7 o'clock. She will call all members to make sure our accounts are clear for that date. Okay, in the meantime, give us a lot of thoughts. 